This is Army Painter's Speed Paint, and this is a fucking sniper. <laughs> so the challenge is going to be that there is a sniper 10 kilometers away from me, and we're going to be testing how quick Army Painter's Speed Paint really is. Can I paint this Kings of War giant before he shoots me with an airsoft rifle? Yeah, we've got a giant from Kings of War. It's pretty damn big, and I don't want to get shot. So let's get on with the challenge, shall we? So I've got myself set up. I'm pretty happy with where I am. I can see over my shoulder. So let's see how these speed paints actually are. Apparently they're preloaded with a metal shake ball, which should be fun. One less thing for me to do, I suppose. Oh, paintbrush is in there. Don't know why I brought all mine. <laughs> the sniper was starting to close in on me. So anyway, let's uh, give a proper first look at these. Speed paints. You know what I say about army painter? Give it a good shake first. That'll do it. So I'm gonna start with a uh, Crusader skin. Let's see how this goes over. But I'm glad I put a Xenophil highlight on this first, otherwise it's gonna be a bit of a nightmare. So it's feeling a little streaky on the flat areas. Starting to notice that you need to keep it quite well watered down, otherwise it globs, globs up. So the main thing that I'm learning about this paint at the moment is these large open flatter areas, it's not covering very well. I've got a lot of tide marks, a lot of street marks. You've got to hit it with one clean stroke and try not, because I find it's reactivating, it's pulling quite nastily. But on these textured areas where the wood is, it's brilliant. It doesn't matter how much or little you put on, it is soaking it up and going straight into those textures really nicely. It seems my time was up. The sniper was taking position. So, I think the, to begin with, I was definitely being a bit harsh on this. When it comes to textures, like the hair's done really well, the fur looks brilliant. I can't keep saying about it actually. I definitely wouldn't paint a Space Marine in this stuff because large open flat panels, it's just gonna, you get loads of tide marks, pooling. It may just be the size of it, the size of, ah, yeah! Space Marine! <laughs> oh, 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 I think you found me. <laughs> oh, oh. So with these paints, I am impressed. The textures turned out really well and the skin turned out terrible, but that's what you're gonna get. Large open spaces are a bit of a no-go. Textures and woods look fantastic. I'm happy with that. So with that all said and done, is there anything you'd like to add? Well, I'll take that stoic silence as a no. Anyway guys, thanks for joining me on yet another hobby adventure. This was a bit of a different one. I hope to do more like this in the future, but don't expect it too soon. And I will see you guys in the next one.